What's up, what's up, my peeps? How's everybody doing? It's Friday, guys. And who is ready for New Year's Eve? You should be ready for New Year's Eve. You already should have your plans where you're gonna be at. So we're gonna call this video, Are You Ready for New Year's Eve? Because no matter where you at, no matter what city, no matter in what state you are, New Year's Eve is big, big money machine. Okay, guys. Nobody, nobody, if you're in this business, right share. Nobody should be home this night. Okay. And you should start your year when at least with 500, 600 bucks in your bank just for one night, okay? And if you think it's not possible, it is possible, okay? Except that you need to put a little bit of effort and you need to push and push and push, okay? But in this video, we're gonna find, we're gonna discuss five things major five things if you want to accomplish 500 600 dollars that night new year's eve okay but don't think you're gonna go home with 500 bucks just working six hours impossible whoever tells you that you're gonna make 500 bucks between six and seven hours that driver or that person is lying to you, okay? I'm gonna give you as much as feedback for New Year's Eve on this video, but you guys need to follow up and hopefully I can help you achieve 500 bucks that night, okay? We're gonna get out from the car and we're gonna take it step by step. I'm not gonna make it long for you. I'm gonna make it sweet and short, okay? So, the first thing that we need to do, okay? And this is big, big issue, okay? You wanna make sure. Sorry about that, guys, it's the sun. There you go, sorry about that, I apologize for that. You want to make sure your car is in perfect condition, guys. You see my blinkers right there? Okay. You see my other blinker? And there's a reason why I'm showing you this stuff. And I'm going to get into it right now. Blinker. And blinker. And you can do the same thing for every single part of the car. Your headlights. Your wipers. Here in Los Angeles, it's been raining lately, so you need to take care of your business checking every single part. Okay, so that's number one. Making sure everything in your car, it's working. Now, I'm going to tell you why. Imagine you don't check your headlights, right? And it's barely six o'clock in the afternoon. Barely seven o'clock in the afternoon. You're barely starting your shift. And you get pulled over because one of your headlights in the back is not working. And you have probably three persons in your car heading to a dinner, okay? You're gonna get a ticket, and guess what's gonna happen after you get a ticket? Those persons are gonna have to cancel the trip because you're probably gonna have to spend some minute, you know, a few minutes with the officer going, you know, over what's wrong. He's gonna give you a ticket, you're gonna send the ticket, so on and so on, you already know what's up, all right? But those persons, guess what they're gonna do? Since they're already pissed off at you because you got pulled over, and they're late for their dinner, guess what they're gonna do? 
they're gonna try to get their money back from your trip and they're gonna report your ass right like I say early 6 30 in the afternoon just because you didn't check that right there Lyft or Uber is gonna put your account on hold for that night because that group is reporting your ass saying that your car was not in perfect condition okay don't ruin the night or don't get in trouble with these apps just because you didn't check your car very simple it only takes one or two minutes that's number one let's move on to number two okay number two is your cell phone okay make sure that that day you are very prepared with your cell phone since you get in your car that's my setup right there okay very simple okay it's not blocking my windows it's not blocking my left hand side it's not blocking my right hand side okay make sure that you're ready to go with your cell phones make sure you have your charger make sure you have your phone fully charged and most important thing your backup phone okay every single driver in this business should always drive every single day with a backup phone okay even if you're barely starting on this business okay make sure that you have a backup phone because that phone is gonna the one is gonna help you in an emergency okay if you got trouble in the back of your seat okay and you need to get out from the car right away because you need to call 911. This phone right here, I can bet you whatever you want. That's the phone is going to stay there. You should be getting off your car like sparkles flying out of your car, okay? And this should be your backup phone because you're going to call 911 from here and you're going to be filming from the outside with this phone okay now you're probably saying two phones for what I just explain you for a case in the emergency one phone should be your personal phone the other one you could get it as a prepaid phone now you could get a prepaid phone and these two companies okay Metro PCS works with T-Mobile very good service and Cricket works with AT&T these two companies have a good service because they work with these two big companies so now you know where to go get your phone Cricket has a free phone Metro PCS has a free phone okay so don't think that you're gonna spend a hundred bucks fifty bucks on a new phone just go in there pay the service for the first month and you're walking out with a free phone okay if you guys want to know what I use for my backup phone is Cricket okay because they work with AT&T very very good service okay now let's move on to number three number three should be your planning okay by this time you already should be I already know where are you heading to. New Year's Eve has two pushes during the night, okay? The first push is gonna be between 5 p.m. all the way to 9 p.m., okay? That's gonna be the first push if this is your first time driving on New Year's Eve. And the second push will be at 11 p.m., all the way to six in the morning okay now let me rephrase that one more time okay New Year's Eve has two pushes the first push will be starting at five in the afternoon all the way to nine okay everybody's trying to get 
whatever they're heading to between those times everybody usually New Year's Eve they like to make two stops dinner friend's house and then whatever club they're going to or whatever bar they're going to okay so that's gonna happen between 5 and 9 the second push it's at 11 that's when everybody is getting ready to go home okay lots of people that like to go home a little bit early because they try to stay away from the big crowds okay now make sure that you're in the road no later than 5 p.m okay that's if you want to achieve the 500 bucks that night no later than 5 p.m now if you decide to take a little break if you decide to make a stop for a snack or for refilling coffee make sure you do it between 9 p.m and 10 30 okay that's gonna be your slow down time so make sure you gotta do whatever you gotta do you do it in that time the other hours that I touch make sure you push and you push and you push okay now we're gonna move up to the next thing number four and I'm gonna show you guys number four it's gonna be very important this night we're gonna get out from the car one more time and I'm gonna show you my setup from the back, okay? This is my personal setup in the back and hopefully it can help you if you're new out there or hopefully it can help you if you don't know what to do that night. So let's go to the back. That's my setup for the back seat, okay? Water for people getting in the car. And I wanna show you this. Behind the back seats, there's already a doggy bag, a plastic bag, whatever you wanna call it. All right? When they get in the car, people already know what those things are for, okay? And if you want to take care of business, this is the way it should be in your car than that. Plastic bags, doggy bags, whatever you want to call it, and water for people getting in your car. Very sparkly and clean in the back because this is the big tip night, okay? This is where you're gonna score, big time. And this is what you gotta do. So that was number four. Now, we'll move up to the number five, the fifth item, okay? And guess what that thing is, or guess what it is. Any guess out there? Let me show you what number five is. Number five should be the driver, okay? The driver should be ready to be behind the wheel. We cannot do nothing if the driver is not ready. Okay, so you guys got to make sure the driver it's ready to go since at least four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, we cannot achieve nothing of what whatever we discuss right now checking the car, set up, or nothing like that. We're not gonna achieve nothing. If the driver is not ready to go. Sorry about that. You guys probably can imagine where I am, right? LAX. So.
So, please make sure the driver is ready to go. You want to make 500 bucks, 600 bucks. Have a very, very good night the night before. Make sure that you eat properly. Make sure that you drink the right stuff. Okay. These things are good, but make sure you combine also with the proper liquids in your body. Don't just drink this the whole night and you think your body's not gonna give up, okay? Now, I'm gonna drop on the description the website that I use. So if anybody out there, it's new in your city or you move to another state, and you don't know the properly places to go. Please go to that website, type in your city, type in your zip code, and start breaking in from there. Put uh, parties, private parties, concerts, New Year's Eve parties. It will give you everything that you could think about. Now, whatever you're at, make sure you stick around. close to hotels make sure you stick around the busiest the busiest places that you can imagine in your city okay for example here in los angeles this is the four these are the four places where i want you guys to be at i'm talking to la market santa monica that would be for the west side Downtown LA, that will be the east side. Long Beach, that will be your south side. And Hollywood, that will be your north side. Okay? And this is the way you have to break it down in your city or in your state. Make a cross and a piece of paper. Put north, south, east, west. And put down the places that there are in the east, west, north, and south. So during the night, if you, whatever you fall, you already know how to back up from there. Or you already know where to go drive around that area. Okay? Be safe that night. There's going to be a lot of checkpoints. Okay? Make sure your car... It's properly light up. So when you go through those checkpoints, most of the time they tell you just to go to the side. You don't have to go through the checkpoint. They're just going to tell you go on the side and you keep going. But take care of business. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, guys, please do so. Thumbs up the video. I hopefully, hopefully help you with something for New Year's Eve. Hopefully, I gave you different ideas, what you're used to. And I'm hoping, hoping this is number 136 in Rideshare 411. This will be 136 video. And hopefully, hopefully, on all these videos, I help somebody with different ideas. I hope somebody with a lot of feedback that I give you. I'm a driver also, 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day. So this is why, where I get all this info from. Be safe that night. Don't forget, this should be in your pocket all the time, okay? Not in your car, not there, nowhere else. This should be in your pocket all the time. This might take you out of a lot of trouble all right guys you guys take care of yourselves make sure pass this info to another driver make sure you pass this to whoever needs this info okay guys take care of yourselves i see you guys in the next one i'm gonna drop another video before new year's eve but this is the info for new year's day all right guys take care of yourselves it's Friday, go make a lot of money, 
and start getting ready for the big night, New Year's Eve. All right, guys, take care of yourselves.